Personal medical information, it's supposed to be protected. But what happens when hospital bills filled with health-related details end up at the wrong address? For a Doylestown woman, it meant absolute frustration with university hospitals. News 5 investigator Jonathan Walsh digs into her case that hits close to home, or maybe not that close to home. So this is the bill for 1780. Correct. Nicole Schisler tells us in mid-January she got a small bill with a big problem. I just, I'm baffled because I don't understand how you could mix this up. A child had received care at UH. The kid's name, the account number, the type of care, all there. And it said the child's parent worked at UH. The issue? You're not an employee of UH. Correct. You've never been a patient of UH. Correct and you've never had any children. Correct. That was the trifecta of mistakes here. Yes. She says she called UH and was told they would look into it and she shouldn't worry about it. But in February, another bill showed up. She called UH again and says they asked for Nicole's date of birth, but Nicole didn't want to do that. She said, I can no longer help you, and she hung up on me. You see, Nicole carefully protects her personal information after being a victim of a recent data breach. She filed complaints about the UH bills with the BBB, the Ohio Attorney General's Office, and UH itself. But then again, in March, another bill, this time for 500 bucks, and it was well past due. What's going through your mind at that point? I was panicked. I was scared. I don't want this going to collections. I don't, I just, I don't need this. Nicole says she did some research and eventually found out there is a UH employee with a similar name, just one letter off. But I don't understand why this could not be fixed as soon as it happened. She was an employee. You should have her information. It's interesting because three years ago, I decided I'd call Channel 5 and speak with you. I did a story about UH sending a different child's psychiatric care bills to Sue Kidd from Painesville, but I kept telling them this is not my child. And they just seemed to think that I was lying to them. Sue told us it took more than a year to resolve the problem. In 2021, I noted the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services reported health privacy rule complaints averaged two every hour in the day. And in 2024, it hasn't gotten any better. The funny thing is, this has happened to me too. Hi, how are you? UH sent my daughter's medical bills to this very neighborhood in Northfield. Oh, you got Jonathan Walsh's yes. mail here. Yes. Problem is, I've never lived in Northfield. Here's my card. Okay. My search for answers brought me to Kelly McCabe's front door. It appears after I called UH back in July about the invoices, they still sent more of my bills to Kelly's house. I put it in the mailbox and put return to sender, but then they kept on coming back, so I don't know. It was weird. In general, if they're sending bills to the wrong address, is that a HIPAA violation? It is a HIPAA violation. Sharona Hoffman is a professor of law and bioethics at Case Western Reserve University. Healthcare providers in general have to obtain patient permission for disclosure of identifiable patient information. When that permission is not given, and it takes months, like Nicole's case, to even more than a year to fix, like Sue, overall, I think the Department of Health and Human Services would be very upset about that and is more likely to impose a financial penalty. In our 2021 report, UH apologized for its billing mistake. This time around, UH said it's looking into Nicole's case. And just today, they asked me for my daughter's date of birth to investigate my problems. Nicole tells us if you get wrong medical bills. This is something you should not have to deal with. This is not your problem. It's theirs. It's their mistake. They should fix it. I'm News 5 investigator Jonathan Walsh. Wow. Also, if that does happen to you, file a complaint with the Department of Health and Human Services. There's a link to that form on our website, as well as a full statement from University Hospitals about those billing errors.